Hey, what's going on guys? So, patch 2.0.5 hit, and with the patch they changed the way that Pestilence and Haunt are functioning. Uh, so, before the patch, uh, they both could crit. But basically what they did was, rather than rolling for a critical hit, Haunt and Pestilence will now calculate an average damage augmented by your critical hit chance and critical hit damage on application, and apply that damage evenly over the duration of the entire damage overtime effect. So basically, uh, to reiterate, Pestilence and Haunt cannot crit now, but they still benefit greatly from crit chance and crit damage, which basically means that you're gearing the same way that you did before. I didn't change any of my gear uh, from before the patch. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick Torment 6 Rift solo, just to show you uh, how well it's doing with that change, and then after the Rift, I'll kind of go over the gear and the differences uh, now, after the patch, um, and before the patch, and then uh, show you the spec and stuff like that. The spec's pretty much the same also, but yeah, so for the gameplay portion, I'm going to turn my mic off, so I hope you guys enjoy it.
Alright guys, so that was like right at a 10 minute rift. I think I started at 4.38, so about 9 minutes. A um, couple sketchy areas here and there. Uh, my Soul Harvest proc twice, I think, early on. A couple like double packs and stuff like that. Um, so, like for me personally, I still need to run Soul Harvest. Um, what you could definitely do though... Or not Soul Harvest, excuse me, Spirit Vessel. Uh, Spirit Vessel proc a few times. Uh, what you can definitely do, though, potentially, is run the new Fierce Loyalty, which gives you 30% more movement speed while a pet is following you and you're out of combat, uh, which is pretty darn good. The biggest thing is just, like, you know, if your toughness isn't that high, my toughness is only, like, 5.5 million, and then obviously you've got the dogs with the Ucopian Serpent that offsets that, but um, if it's not terribly high, you may not be able to drop 
Spirit Vessel. Also, if your cooldown reduction isn't terribly high either, you may not be able to. But overall, if you can support it, this is probably going to be more efficient for solo farming. 30% uh, movement speed while out of combat with a with a pet is pretty crazy. Um, otherwise, the spec is pretty much exactly the same. I mean, this is pretty close to what was being ran in beta by Witch Doctors, really. Um, nothing's too different. Um, so, and as far as the gear goes, you're going to still run Quezacodal, five pieces of Jade, Harrington Wasteguard, Ring of Royal Grandeur. You want to stack elite damage, because like you saw, the majority of the time, Pestilence and one Soul Harvest kills trash still, so you want as much elite damage as possible. You want to get cooldown reduction, you copy and serpent with the dogs, um, and then you want to stack cold damage, crit chance, and crit damage on all your gear. Pretty much the gear is the same way, and plays pretty similarly. Um, so, like I said, before before the patch, okay, uh, when you get to a leader champion or boss pack, you would cast your pestilence, then haunt everything, and then you would look for crits on your haunts. If they did not crit, you would then recast them until they crit, and then blow them up with soul harvest. The reason you would do that is because if the first tick of haunt was a crit, that would dictate the rest of the damage over time effect being a crit every time it ticked. Um, so... It, when, whenever you blew it up, it, a crit would deal way more damage than a non-crit would. Now that Haunt and Pestilence are not critting anymore, it's much smoother and efficient because you get to a, an Elite or Champion or boss and you cast all of your dots, you Pestilence, Haunt everything, and then you can immediately Soul Harvest. Because um, the damage is going to relatively be the same depending on buffs and things like that every single time that you cast them. Um, and all those seconds where you got to cast your Haunts, then you look for the crit, and they don't show up in yellow numbers, so they're not easy to see sometimes. And then if it didn't crit, then you have to recast your haunt. That adds on 5 to 8 seconds on each champion in Elite Pack, potentially. And now you don't have to worry about any of that. And as you saw, for the most part in Elites and Champions, I was still, one Soul Harvest was killing them. Because before, with the crits, you were overkilling by a ton. And a lot of people feel like because you're not critting for 2, 3, 4 billion anymore that this set got nerfed. But in fact it got buffed. The only thing that's a little bit slower at times is bosses. But you saw on that, on that Rift boss right there, with the Harrington proc, I think I was critting for like 1.4 billion or something like that. It took 3 soul harvests to kill him. Um, which is a little bit longer than it used to. But the extra time that you make up on the entire Rift... Um, by not having to look for the crits and reapplying your haunts um, is well worth it compared to the extra maybe 10 seconds that it takes to kill the boss at the end. So it's much more efficient now, um, and it's buffed. The only thing that's a little bit a slight nerf is on the bosses. So anybody that comes and tries to tell you that the set is nerfed, they, they are wrong. Anybody that plays Witch Doctor and played the build prior to 2.0.5 and then has now played it after... Um, I almost guarantee you will tell you that it's been buffed. Um, it's more efficient, and it's much smoother gameplay, because it was never fun looking for the crits by any means. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.